just one more definition to keep going. So a linear transformation T, which maps from C to the N to C to the N, is called a Euclidean isometry. If X Hermitian X equals Tx Hermitian Tx for all X in C to the N. So basically an isometry is something that preserves length, uh, uh, the length of a vector. So it's a transformation. Any transformation that preserves the length of a vector is called an isometry. And if it preserves the Euclidean length, or the length measured through the Euclidean norm, then we call it a Euclidean isometry. Okay, so basically from the previous result, we then have that um, a complex square matrix U uh, in C to the N cross N is a Euclidean isometry if and only if it is unitary. This is exactly the same as the statement A is equivalent to G. One other remark about these unitary matrices is that if U and V are unitary matrices, then U, V, the product is unitary. That's simply because U, V, Hermitian U, V is equal to V, Hermitian U, Hermitian U, V and U Hermitian U is the identity matrix. So this is the same as V Hermitian V, which is equal to the identity matrix. So U V is an identity. So you take products of unitary matrices, how many other products you take, they will all be unitary. Another remark, related remark, is that if X1 to XK is an orthonormal set and U is a unitary matrix, then UX1 through UXK is also an orthonormal set. These are all immediate from the uh, from what we have seen uh, about unitary vectors and orthonormal matrices. X1 through XK are orthonormal. And U is unitary. then u x1 u x k orthonormal set okay so now let's continue on with unitary equivalence uh, so, I mean, all this was kind of the prelude to get to unitary equivalence. So basically, for a unitary matrix, we know now that U Hermitian equals U inverse for a unitary matrix. So 
So that means that if I take the um, the mapping from A to U Hermitian AU, this is a similarity transform. if u is unitary. Okay, so by similarity transform, what I mean is our definition, S inverse AS, where S is an invertible matrix. So it satisfies that definition. So this mapping from A to U Hermitian AU is in fact a similarity transform, but it's a special similarity transform. It's a transform where the matrix involved in the transform that the matrix s in our previous de definition is a unitary matrix and that's why we call it a unitary similarity or a unitary equivalence so the similarity a to U Hermitian AU for unitary U is or okay so now um, the leads to the definition that um, B in C to the N cross N is unitarily equivalent to A in C to the N cross N if there exists a unitary, so we're going in circles a bit here, but matrix U and C to the N cross N such that B equals U Hermitian A U. Okay, so I mean, going by the fact that similarity transform is an equivalence relation, you can also show that unitary equivalence is also an equivalence relation. So it's not a misnomer. It is called that for a reason. So is That means that it is reflexive. Any A is unitarily equivalent to itself. It is symmetric. A, A unitarily equivalent to B implies B unitarily equivalent to A. And it's transitive. That is A unitarily equivalent to B and B unitarily equivalent to C implies A is unitarily equivalent to C. Okay, so you should show that um, just to convince yourself it's true. We have the following theorem. If A and B are unitarily equivalent, then the sum of the squares of all the entries of A
is the same as the sum of all the squares of all the entries of B. So intuitively this should be obvious, but um, just to see why this is true. Um, summation i j equal to 1 to n mod a i j square is the same as trace of a Hermitian a. Okay, if you look at the entries that arise when you're trying to compute trace of a Hermitian a, it's exactly the same as this double summation i j equal to 1 to n mod of a i j square. Now, if b is u Hermitian a u, then trace of b Hermitian b is equal to trace of, I'm just going to substitute for b, so that becomes u Hermitian b Hermitian b B Hermitian, oh sorry, U Hermitian, A Hermitian, U, U Hermitian, A U. So I'm just substituting for B as U Hermitian, A U. And U, U Hermitian is the identity matrix. So I'm left with trace of U Hermitian, trace of U Hermitian, A Hermitian, A U which is equal to trace of a Hermitian a. Why is this last step true? Uh, in the trace, you can exchange the uh, terms in the product. You can't so exchange. Hermitian, you, so you, you Hermitian can't exchange. U, a Hermitian. Hmm? So it'll be U Hermitian U, A Hermitian A. So U Hermitian U will be one, I. So you're saying that trace of U Hermitian A Hermitian A U is the same as trace of U Hermitian U, A Hermitian A. Is that what you're saying? So this is not correct. So one of the things about uh, the trace is that you can you can cyclically permute the terms. Yeah, so I can equal to trace of B A. We can use that and change trace of A B equals trace of B A, which means that you are actually cyclically permuting. You can't just pick two matrices and exchange the order. So you can't just shift this matrix out here and write it as U Hermitian U A Hermitian A. That's not correct. But you can shift this matrix all the way out here. That is okay. So I can write this okay. as U, U Hermitian, A Hermitian, A, and that is equal to, this is equal to the identity matrix. So this is equal to the trace of A Hermitian, A. So now you have one more exercise to show, which is that if I have trace of A, B, C, then it is equal to the trace of C, A, B, which is equal to trace of B, C, A. So you need to show this. So instead, a simil simpler thing to do is to recognize that this U Hermitian A Hermitian A U is actually a similarity transform on A Hermitian A because U Hermitian equals U inverse. So since it's a similarity transform, we know that the eigenvalues of the matrix of a matrix remain invariant to its similarity transforms. And uh, the trace is nothing but the sum of the eigenvalues. So, um, um, so, so basically it's a trace is similarity invariant. And so this must be you know, true. So that's a slightly simpler way to maybe think about it given what we know so far. So trace is similarity invariant. U Hermitian, A Hermitian, A U is a similarity transform.
von t Hermitian e. Okay, so that's that's about this. Um, I think we are almost out of time today.